External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar on Tuesday refuted U.S. President Donald Trump's claim that Prime Minister Modi requested U.S. role in resolving Kashmir issue. Speaking in Parliament amid opposition demand for a clarification from the Prime Minister, J. Shankar said that Kashmir is a bilateral issue between India and Pakistan and that Prime Minister Modi never made any request on the issue to the U.S. President. No such request was made by the Prime Minister to the U.S. President. I would sir, also reiterate that it has been India's consistent position that all outstanding issues with Pakistan are discussed only bilaterally. The opposition on Tuesday cornered the government over US President Donald Trump's Kashmir mediation claim. The opposition sought a clarification from Prime Minister Modi in Parliament, even as the External Affairs Minister categorically rejected Trump's remarks. Rajya Sabha Chairman Venkaiah Naidu said it's a matter of national security and that the entire parliament should be seen speaking in one voice. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan welcomed US President Donald Trump's offer to mediate between India and Pakistan on the Kashmir issue. During the media interaction at the White House, Imran said that US can play an important role to bring peace to the subcontinent. You know, there are over a, hundred, well, over a billion and a, and a quarter people in the subcontinent. They are held hostage to the issue of Kashmir and I feel that only uh, uh, the, 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 the most powerful state, uh, headed by President Trump, can, can bring the two countries together. I, from my point, I can tell you, we have tried our best. We've made all overtures to India to, uh, to uh, start dialogue, resolve our differences uh, through, through dialogue. But unfortunately, we haven't made headways as yet. But I'm hoping that President Trump would uh, push this process. An influential Democratic congressman on Tuesday termed the president's claim that Prime Minister Modi sought U.S. help on Kashmir as amateurish and embarrassing. Congressman Brad Sherman tweeted that India has consistently opposed third-party mediation in Kashmir and everyone knows Prime Minister Modi would never suggest such a thing. Sherman, who has the House of Foreign Affairs Subcommittee on Asia, added that he has apologized to India's envoy to U.S. Harsh Shringla for Trump's embarrassing remarks on Kashmir. After India's rejection of U.S. President Donald Trump's claims that Prime Minister Modi sought U.S. help in resolving the Kashmir dispute with Pakistan, U.S. State Department spokesperson has said that the U.S. will be ready to assist the two neighboring countries. Speaking to news agency ANI, the spokesperson said that while Kashmir is a bilateral issue for both parties to discuss, the Trump administration welcomes Pakistan and India in sitting down to talk. The Supreme Court on Tuesday came down heavily on the Amrapali builder over delayed housing projects. The court ordered cancellation of the Amrapali Group's RERA registration. The court has also directed the Enforcement Directorate to file money laundering case against the CMD and directors of the real estate major for diverting home buyers' money. The top court has also asked the government to review all pending projects of the Amrapali Group. The 12 Rebel Congress and JDS MLAs have refused to meet the Speaker to discuss their resignations and have sought a month's time to appear before him. As the Karnataka crisis drags on and with another deadline for the trust vote set for 6pm on Tuesday, the Speaker had summoned the Rebels to discuss their resignations. Okay. I convey my thanks to them. I pray to God to give some sense to them. Andhra Pradesh has become the first state in the country to reserve jobs for locals. The Times of India has reported that the Andhra Assembly on Monday passed a law which reserves 75% private jobs for locals across all categories in industrial units, factories, joint ventures, as well as projects that are in public-private partnership mode. The law will apply to all private industrial units and factories irrespective of whether or not these companies get financial or other help from the government. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, who last week took on the UP government after she was stopped from meeting the families of tribal farmers killed in Uttar Pradesh over a land dispute, has received lavish praise from party colleague Shatrughan Sinha. The actor-turned-politician compared her with former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Sinha also found her in the solution to the Congress's leadership problem as he said Priyanka Gandhi would be apt as its next chief. A group of people who went fishing in the Cape Cod Bay had a close shave when a great white shark jumped out of water and snatched a fish they had caught. I got a video! I got a video! The boys shared that it was incredible and they had never experienced something like this before.